guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren and I make home, lifestyle, cleaning, motherhood, all those types of videos here on my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, you probably notice one thing, my hair. Yes, it is so blonde. As most of you know, I dyed my hair blonde for like, or dyed my hair red for like five to six years. In the past seven months, I've been in the process of getting the blonde or the red, oh, the red taken out of my hair. And I've gone through different stages of like orange and copper and pinkish. And so this is basically the last stage that I'm at. I really just wanted all the red out because it kept pulling so pink. So we basically got me down to a pretty like bleached blonde. This isn't the final look though. Um, the last time I went, I was there for like six hours because we everything we did is super slow, so my hair is still like really healthy and really strong, which is good because I did this over such a long process. And um, my mom was watching William, and it had already been six hours. So next time I go in, we're gonna add like lots of low lights and dimension, and make it like ashier and more natural and all of that. So if you don't like this blonde, don't worry, it's not gonna be here for too long. It's definitely. A little much <laughs> it's a little hard to get used to but you know what I'm having fun with it while while I'm in this stage oh and don't mind these little guys my postpartum hair at least is finally starting to grow back in but it looks like a little ch -ch -ch. but anyways today's video is going to be like the biggest home decor haul ever so as you guys know I just bought or me and my husband just bought our first house and over the past three months I've kind of accumulated a ton of home decor from stores like Hobby Lobby, Home, home Goods, At Home, Kirkland's, all of that, pretty much everything I got on sale. So it looks like a ton of stuff, but I'll read most of the prices to you guys and they're like $4, $5, $8, $12. Like I got a lot of really great deals and as you can see, I kind of have some things already hung up. The theme I'm going for, um, my previous house was like a beach cottage theme, a lot of shabby chic, rustic. Um, like beachy stuff. I'm kind of like eliminating the beachy at this house and keeping like the cottagey, I guess farmhouse vibe. But yeah, I guess let's just get on into the video. For pillows, I got them all um, at different places. So what I first got was these pillows and they're just like a cream, um, like off white color. And I got two of them. I got them at the at home store and I got those two and then I also got this which I really like it, it's the same like kind of off-white cream color but then it has this light like kind of a denim blue color and I really like this and then next I saw this on sale at home goods and um, I don't know why it was on sale there is like a tiny little mark somewhere but a lot of the times I can't even find where it is and I figured I could just clean it. But I liked this because I wanted some kind of buffalo plaid kind of pillow, but all the grays that I found, the gray was too dark where this one is like super light. So I like this and this pillow is really big. And then from Home Goods, I got this pillow as well and this is a very, very light gray and I just really like the design. This was actually in the like bedding section and it was $19.99 so it is huge I don't know if you can tell and this is the last pillow I got and this one's from home goods as well I really liked this it's like slightly darker gray than the other two gray pillows as you can see I just wanted kind of different dimension I feel like everything goes together but it's different which I like and the colors of the living room are going to be like creams, grays, whites, so I like that I kind of incorporated everything, but this one just says home, and I really like it, and it was only $16.99. Okay, so now I laid out everything I got when I went to Hobby Lobby. The first time I went to Hobby Lobby, they were having 75% off all their home decor, so everything was like crazy cheap. So the first thing I got was by the coffee maker. I wanted this Rise and Shine. It's coffee time sign, and this says it was $11.99. But I think it was like 66% off, so it was only like around $4, I think. And then I got this because um, with William, his toys are like all over the place at all times. So I figured I wanted some sort of basket out in the living room to just kind of throw like all his toys in if we're cleaning up really quickly. So I like this one because from the side you won't be able to see into it. And this was on sale for $12.49, normally $50. So I really like that. 
And then for the kitchen, I just got this kitchen sign and this was on sale for $5. The next thing I got, because I'm really liking the tobacco basket trend, is this one. I really liked it because it had this galvanized like X on it and it's um, like a lighter wash. But I really like it. I think it's super cute. And this one, it says it was $19.99, but it was 66% off. So, um, I don't know what that made it. Like $7, something around there. So, I got that. And then I got this garland because I just really like the look of like greenery. And I like how this one has like that white like effect where it's kind of like whitewashed a little bit. And this was $20, but it was 50% off, so I got it for 10. And then I got this cross, and it's a pretty big cross, and it's like a white distressed, and it was only $8.74, and it's originally $35. So these deals were like amazing. And then for in like the kitchen or dining area, I got this. It just says Market Fresh Organic. I thought it was cute, and it was only $5.50 and it was normally $22. Now, um, I really like the look of when people take these like bluish, greenish glass bottles and they put like flowers in them or like eucalyptus plants or whatever. And this actually came with like a little stopper. I think it was for like olive oil or something like that, but I took that out and I'm gonna put like fake flowers in it but this was only $3.50 and normally it's $14. So I really like this. And I'll show you guys some other ones that I got at like Home Goods, and they're all different and I really like them, but they're all the same color, which is nice. And then the next thing I got was this, and I'm gonna put like flowers or plants or something in this. I just thought it would be nice um, as like a table centerpiece or something. I just thought it was cute and it added to the rustic vibe and it's normally $50 and I got it for 12 and then I got this to put like my diffuser on I think or I don't know what I'm gonna put on it I could even possibly put some of these on there I'm not sure so it is just like a wood stump and it's typically $18 and I got it for $4.50 and then I just got this little sign that says God is good all the time and it was $7.99 but I think I got it for $3. And now one of my favorite things that I got is this huge sign and it says, in this house we love with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our strength and I just like how big it is and how oh, it has some dirt on it. I just like the color of it and everything and it was 50% off. So I got it for $25, and this is where I was thinking of putting that garland. Can you move your feet? <laughs> I was thinking of putting the garland on it like this, because I think it looks really pretty, like the green, the whitewashed green with this sign. So I'm gonna do something like that on the wall, but I love this. This might be one of my favorite things I got. And then, like I keep saying, I'm gonna put plants in things. This is what I mean when I say that. So I really like, um, I got these ones from Hobby Lobby. And all these were 50% off. So this was six, but it actually was $3. And then I really like these ones. They're kinda like fuzzy, and they're like a whitish, grayish, greenish. I think they're supposed to be like eucalyptus. But, um, so I got those. And then my favorite are these lavender bundles because they're so real looking so for some of the things i got like these i'm not obviously going to put like this huge thing in there but i was thinking that i could like cut some of these little bundles off and put them in different ones or same thing like with these because some of them are too big but for instance like this i could put one of these in there so that's what i got like all these plants from so i got a bunch of those and then i got some more of these like little guys so i think that was everything i got that first hobby lobby trip and it looks like i got a ton of stuff but i really think it was like less than a hundred dollars because everything was so cheap it was crazy so i just found the other two that i got from home goods and they were like this one was five dollars and 
this one was $3.99. So that's what these ones look like. And see how they're all different? And I think they're going to be really pretty, like, next to each other as maybe, like, a centerpiece or something with the flowers. But I just really liked the design on all of them. Some other things that I got. Here's just another one of those small little plants. This will kind of show you. I don't really like that one in there. <clears throat> now these I got from TJ Maxx and these are a Ray Dunn set, but um, typically I think there is a third one and I got it for like half off because it was missing the third one, but I didn't mind. And I just thought these were cute. I like how they say grow and sprout. I really like Ray Dunn stuff. I'm not like crazy like where some people get about it, but I do think they're cute. And those are just um, some more of these guys. And this is what I'm talking about when I said that these had like stoppers in them and stuff, but I am not gonna use it like that. I'm gonna use it for flowers, so I took them out. And then I just got this little guy at Kirkland's and it just says milk and he was like $3. Now, something I love is this. And this was $14.99 at Cracker Barrel. And my uncle actually bought this for me. Um, as some of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, my grandma passed away last month. And we were in Tennessee um, up there because we went to the hospital to visit her. And my uncle, um, when we were heading back, we had went to a Cracker Barrel because it's one of my grandma's favorite recipes. And I saw this and I really liked it. And I was going to buy it, but he ended up buying it for me. And something that I really like is I found this. And it was... It says $12.99, but it was half off, so it was $6 at Hobby Lobby. And I was just playing around, and I put this in here, and I love how it looks when it's, like, spilling out of it. Like, if I was to put it, I would have to push it down a little bit farther and play around with it. But I think it looked so pretty when it has that spilling out of it, and it could be, like, on an entry table or something. So I like how that looks together. Now this is another one of the really big items I got. This was from Home Goods or Marshalls, one of those, and it was only $39.99, which I thought was a really great deal because this is pretty big. And now this is like a similar size to that other big paint or uh, like saying picture or whatever. And I really like this. I think when I hang this up, I have this little reef that I think I'm gonna put in the center. So that guy, so he was only $10 at Home Goods, and I really like how it looks because I kind of feel like without the reef when it is like this, there's too much of the same pattern or something. So I think that that looks really nice and I just like having, like I said, the greenery. Now something else I got from Home Goods is I got two of these galvanized planters um, with the lavender in it. I actually think I'm going to return these because now since seeing the lavender from Hobby Lobby, this lavender just looks so fake and cheap to me. So I think I'm actually going to return these. And then I got this um, at Home Goods and it was only $10. And um, also at Home Goods I got this basket and it is just a white distressed basket. Now one of my favorite things I got was this flower pot and it's pretty big and it was from Kirkland's. It was $16.99 and I put one of those lavender bundles from um, Hobby Lobby in. And I just think it looks so nice especially against the wall color we chose which is Agreeable Gray by Sharon Williams. So I love this. I got these two, I got two of these planters. They were only like five bucks each from Hobby Lobby because they were on sale for the wall and they're just galvanized wall planters. And then I also got this from Kirkland's and it says home sweet home and I really like it. It has like a distressed white wood plank look with the gray and it was $29.99. This sign was from Hobby Lobby and it was on sale for $11 and it just says farmhouse. And then I got this for my essential oils to hold like all my oils and everything on the wall. And I got this from Michael's. It was uh, $30, but they always have those 40% off coupons, so it was $17. Next, from Home Goods, I got this sign, and I just really like what it says if you want to pause it and read, but I thought it was so cute. Just the saying and the coloring was perfect, so I really, really like this. So I got this sign from Home Goods, and I just love what it says. 
and it's really cool because it's actually a magnetic board and it comes with these magnets so you can put like pictures if you want I don't think I'm gonna do that but the reason I bought this um, was because I thought it was it's really big and I thought it would be like a nice statement piece and then for each side I bought I wanted something at first I was thinking I would get like two galvanized planters to put on each side but then when I was at Hobby Lobby I found these I found these which I really like and so it's got like this rope right here and then it's this galvanized and it has like a little um, glass pot and then I picked these up as well to go inside so I got one for each side of this so it'll look something like that so I got um, they were super cheap because I got everything at sale or on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I think I'm going to put these on a smaller wall so that this is just in the middle and those are on both sides. One of the last things I got was just this little plant from TJ Maxx for $6.99 and I just thought it went really well with everything else. So I really liked this. And this is actually from the huge Hobby Lobby sale as well. This was normally $40 and it was on sale for $9. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I honestly might return it. If I do, I'll probably put it in the bedroom because I think the saying's really cute. I just don't know if the coloring is gonna work. Okay guys, so that was it. I really hope you enjoyed. I know it was a lot and I hope you liked the style. If not, I understand everyone has different styles. I know that mine's super like feminine and girly. Thankfully, my husband likes how I decorate our house so it's all good there um but yeah everything I got was on sale I really got a lot of good deals I didn't spend that much honestly I think everything that I bought I used my um money that I made from my um young living business that I've been doing so it was nice to be using like my own money as a stay-at-home mom instead of being like hey James I'm gonna buy this 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 or whatever but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe I have so many amazing videos coming soon cleaning routines decorate with me's DIYs um refinishing like the table all of that jazz give this video a big thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching